PyCharm Professional is a leading IDE for full stack development. That means great support for backend servers such as Django. With its inclusion of WebStorm, our IDE for web development, PyCharm Professional is also great at front ends. Let's take a look at finding what you need, basic coding assistance, and code refactoring. In this video, we show features in WebStorm, which is bundled in PyCharm Professional. PyCharm Professional provides loads of ways to navigate more efficiently across both your code base and the IDE itself. Let's take a look at some of them. Here I have a React app generated with Create React App. I want to find the app.js file in it. I could open the project tool window and look for app.js, but if I had a large code base, it would take longer than I want it to. Instead, I'm going to press Shift Shift and look for that file using Search Everywhere. The Search Everywhere feature lets us find any file, action, class, or symbol, and shows all the matches in one place. If you want to see only files or actions in the search results, you can press Tab and switch from All to the tab that you need. Alternatively, you can go to Navigate File or use a dedicated shortcut for it. Now that I've opened the file, what else can I do with it? First, I can find a specific piece of information in it and jump straight to it using Command or Control F. For a larger scale search targeted in part of my project, such as the SRC directory, I can use the Find in Path functionality. I can look in the selected subdirectory, the entire project, a module, or a specific scope. This Find in Path menu has many useful ways to narrow down your search. Case sensitive, file name filters, regular expressions, and more. At the bottom, you can have a quick peek into files without opening them in the editor. Now let's say I want to check where a symbol was declared or look for its usages. I can focus on that symbol and click Command or Control, plus B and voila! The file opens with the cursor on the definition of the symbol. Now, what if I want to go back to a file I recently opened? There's the Recent Files pop-up that can help with that. On its right, you can see the list of recently opened files that you can quickly jump to. On the left, there's a list of tool windows. Let's use the speed search to narrow the list of choices to structure and explore one of the more helpful navigation features. The structure tool window can be very handy for examining a file quickly. It provides an overview of its structure and lets you jump to a specific item by simply typing its name. That's it for some of the ways to navigate around WebStorm. If you want to remember only one thing from this video, it should definitely be Search Everywhere, as it will let you gradually learn about the other WebStorm features. For more navigation tips and tricks, explore the WebStorm guide at jetbrains.com slash webstorm slash guide slash topic slash navigation. PyCharm Professional is packed full of features that can help you write better JavaScript code faster. Let's take a look at some of the essential ones. First up is code completion. It shows you context-aware suggestions as you type and completes keywords and symbols from language APIs and project dependencies. To add these suggestions, you can use Enter, like we just did, or press Tab to replace an existing item. The IDE also makes it easy to keep your code error-free. For example, you'll see green squiggly lines under typos. Hover over the highlighted issue to learn more about it. In the pop-up that appears, you'll see a short description of the problem and a quick fix for it if available. To see the full list of all the available actions in the current context, click on More Actions or press Alt-Enter. From here, you can choose the action you want to apply and press Enter to perform it. To explore other problems in your code, you can use F2 or the arrows in the top right-hand corner of the editor. 
You can also review all the errors, warnings, and typos in one place. Just click on the Inspections widget located in the top right-hand corner of the editor to open the Problems tool window. Now, what if you want to look up the documentation for a symbol? There's no need to go to MDN just for that. Just hover over that symbol or focus on it and press F1 and the IDE will show you the relevant documentation. WebStorm is great at cutting the amount of routine work you have to do. For example, you can quickly convert a regular function to an arrow function. Just press Alt plus Enter on the function keyword and see the corresponding intention. There are plenty of such intentions available. You can learn them gradually. Just click on the light bulb whenever you see it in the editor or see what the IDE has to offer. Or take a look at the full list of intentions in the settings, which you can reach from the intention. We have intentions for more than JavaScript. It's a long list, so use speed search to filter it. Now imagine you've got some badly formatted code with lots of little problems all over the place. You may be tempted to fix them all manually, but there are much better things you could be doing instead. Just press Opt plus Command plus L on Mac OS or Control plus Alt plus L on Windows Linux, and the IDE will do it for you. For more information on how code reformatting works in WebStorm, it's well worth checking out the documentation. Imports are another thing you no longer have to worry about. Let's say we haven't imported the app symbol and we want to use it. Start typing, accept the autocomplete suggestion, and the IDE will do the completion and create an import all for you. Now that I'm looking at the imports, I can also see that WebStorm is unhappy about one of them. Optimize imports can, amongst the other things, help me clear out any unused imports. These were some of the key WebStorm coding assistance features, but this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are a whole lot more. To learn about the other features that can make you more productive, check out the WebStorm guide at jetbrains.com slash webstorm slash guide slash topics slash editing. And watch the 42 WebStorm tips and tricks webinar recording on our YouTube channel. Every so often, you might need to restructure your existing front-end code without changing its behavior. You don't want to do it manually. Life is too short. Let's see how PyCharm Professional can help. Let's say we want to change the name of a symbol, which might be used in a couple of places in a file. But now it's broken in another file, which imports it. So we change our mind and put it back. Let's use project wide refactoring to rename app to be my app. Right click on a file, select rename file, choose the new name, and let the IDE rename it for us. The IDE will also find all the references to it including the ones in comments, strings, and text. The IDE is smart. It knows you probably want to rename the exported symbol when renaming the file. As a last step, we get a confirmation of the steps the IDE will take. Review these, then click Do Refactor. The cool thing about this is that if you change your mind, you can easily undo the refactoring. Just press Command Z on Mac OS or Control Z on Windows Linux, and symbols return to their previous name, as do the file names on disk. There are quite a few other refactorings available in WebStorm. You can look them up using the context menu, right click on a symbol you want to change, and go to Refactor. You'll see all the refactorings available in the current context there. The refactor this pop-up will also work for this too. To invoke it, press Control T if you're on Mac OS, or Control Alt Shift T if you're on Windows Linux. This pop-up also shows you the list of currently available refactorings. 
let's try to perform another action that WebStorm can help you with, extracting a component. Why do it yourself when the IDE can do it for you? We just need to decide on a few things and we'll get a component created for us on one side with the usage on the other. We've just seen two popular refactorings in action. There are a few more and we encourage you to try them for yourself. To get inspired, check out the WebStorm guide at jetbrains.com slash webstorm slash guide. There you can search for tips that mention refactor and find some examples along with links to other relevant material.